We are pretty sure that you have followed recent events pertaining to the illegal mining activities of a company belonging to Bernard and Pibu Siakong, a.k.a. Chamawun Tumi, who is the Ashanti Regional Chairman of the ruling New Patriotic Party. The said company, known as Aconta Mining Limited, is reported to have been engaging in extensive illegal mining activities in the town of Nimri Forest Reserve, located in Samre Boy, in the western region, without any mining lease, mineral rights, and or permits to undertake any mining operations in the Tano Nimri Forest Reserve. This fact has been confirmed by the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and the Minerals Commission. Yet, Chama Wuntumi is still working free. As earlier reviewed, Chama Wuntumi is one of the biggest and leading Galamse campaigns in this Ekufu Adobawumia government, whose Galamse footprints have left vast devastation in various forest reserves in the Ashanti, Eastern, Western, and Western North regions of this country. Embodied by the nonchalance and lukewarm posturing of President Akufuado, MPP bandits and thugs who now work for Chama Wuntumi's mining companies had the effrontery to engage in an open armed combat with the anti Galamse tax force of the Ochehene at Asamai Tanfo in the Eastern region only two weeks ago. And maybe you have seen it, some may not have seen it. So, as for this one, let's play the video so that those who have not seen it can watch it because it is quite recent. Combat! These are the bandits we are talking about. It is very painful to be a Ghanaian at this time. Because this is how low our country has sunk. Are we at war? What crime have we committed? What wrong have we done, President Kufuado, and these people? That in the name of Galamse, they can engage in such armed combat in a community without even caring about the children, the women, the old men, the young people in the community and the unintended consequences of the guns they were firing on these people. They didn't care because for them, party is sky. This is how brazen wound to me has become in its indiscriminate galamse activities and destruction of the environment under the watch of President Ekufu and Vice President Alaji Bawumia. And let me say, we read in the media that Wun Tumi has said somewhere, uh, I stand to be corrected, and we read in the media that he said somewhere that if he's arrested, he will come and campaign for the NDC. Mr. Wun Tumi, we don't need you. <laughs> and we will not accept you because the NDC is not a safe haven for thieves and people who destroy water bodies our lands and our forest reserve. We don't need people like you to campaign for us.